hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is about discussion on character functions with default 200 length and issues they pose in sas for this topic i would like to take two different functions and explain you things the first one is a repeat function and the second one is cats function both of them default to the length of 200 when applied on a string or a character variable but they do things little bit differently that is the reason why i have picked these two functions only there could be many other functions which default to the length of 200 but these two will give you good idea of what you have to look for now let's start with the repeat function here the repeat function i am discussing with an example a repeat function what it does is it repeats the character string or variable mentioned in here the number of times we want so here we have a if i want to repeat nine times what the result will be is a plus nine times of a total 10 a's now let us quickly run this and see our result and the result you can see that we have 10 a's and if i quickly click on in here i can see that the length is 200 even though we have just 10 characters in here we are having the length of 200 now let us quickly run a different data step and see our result and in here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to run this a data step wherein I have kept a star in here and another star in here and I'm concatenating this variable B and then let's see what happens in the result and here what I'm doing is I'm doing put of this variable so that I can see the result in the log in the log you can see that we have lot of trailing blank spaces this is close to 190 blank spaces trailing blank spaces and this is what happens when we have character functions which default to 200 length that is it defaults 200 length and it does by padding with trailing spaces to avoid this kind of issues is fairly straightforward what we simply need to do is we simply need to define the length in here we need to know little bit about how data step processing works data step always works in this fashion that is it has a compilation phase and execution phase during the compilation phase the variable attributes are set so once the compilation phase looks the length here this is the first time it is looking into the length of b and we have explicitly defined it as 10 so that particular length will be fixed it will not look into b variable again in here so it doesn't go to 200 and in here once we have said the length is 10 we can run this code and then we can see in the result that now our variable length is in fact 10 which means we are not wasting any space in here and in the log also you can see that there is no trailing blank space and i want to discuss one another thing in here that is what will happen if i use the same step and do 250 means i want to repeat something 250 times and once i run this data step you can see that my length is still 200 which means whatever i have mentioned for 250 has been truncated and here if you look into the log also it does not tell anything about truncation but you can see from the length that something has been truncated now how do we solve this truncation problem it's fairly simple again what we can simply do is we can define length 
explicitly as I am showing in you here. Here I am saying length and the variable b and I am saying dollar 251 because this is the length I want my final variable to have. By doing this, this will avoid truncation. And here for this function the major problem is we have truncation but we do not have any message saying that there is a data truncation. Now let's look into another function and this function is known as catch function. Now let's talk about catch function. What catch function does is it concatenates how many ever arguments we give and strips the space between them. And in here I just have two arguments in the form of two strings and I am using catch function on them. Now let us quickly run this and see our result. In the result you can see that we have a string which is concatenated and let's look on its length. Again the length comes to 200. And as you know that even though our variable could have only the length of 10 because of its default nature it is going to 200. So there is a lot of wastage of space and you know how you can save space. I have shown you that earlier and I am not going to discuss that part now. And now let's look into another example which is interesting wherein we have this data step in here where I am having two variables A and B and if you see A has the length of 191, B has a length of 14. Now when we try to do a catch function on this you will find something very interesting and which is little bit different than what we have seen earlier. Now I am using this data set in here and I am doing catch function on variable A and B. Now let us run this. Once I run this you see that the new variable D is empty and the length it has is 200. So this is little surprising and now also let's look into the log. In the log it says that the cats function the result was not long enough to contain the concatenation of all the arguments and the correct result could contain 205 characters but it is truncated to 200. So in some environments this may result to a complete blank and that's what we are seeing in here. And also in the log you have the variable which we are getting from the concatenated value is shown as missing and also there is underscore error underscore equal to 1 indicating that there is an error in here. Now how we can fix it? We can easily fix it by assigning appropriate length in the length statement and then we can run this and once we do this you can see here our log is pretty clean and then also in the output you can see that our variable has a value and it is the length of 250. The earlier two variables which we were using are having 191 and 14. So 191 plus 14, 205 we have given 250 so everything is in here. And also in the results we can see that our variable d has all the values we need it. By simply looking into this value and this value you can see that everything is in here. Now this is the good time to sum it up. Here we have discussed two character functions which default to 200 and one of the character function what it did was it truncated the value when the value was more than 200 and it did not give any message saying that our data was truncated. In another case what was happening was we had a warning and also our variable went to a blank. So these are differences we need to bear in mind. Another issue is whenever the character value is directly assigned a default of 200 and if the value is much lesser we are going to waste lot of space. And 
these two important things we always need to bear in the mind and whenever we are using this kind of character functions where the default value is 200 we need to be careful we need to look into our log and we also need to look into our results and check out whether there is a truncation or not and it is also important to give appropriate length explicitly as we have discussed all the way through that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you